that's a little tea, but this is why so I'm gonna sip this. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm introducing a new segment to my channel because girl, I have recently um, started drinking wine and I come to realize I actually like it. It's pretty um, sweet. Some of them are pretty sweet. So I actually have some right here called Stella Rosa. This is the one and um, blueberry. Um, <laughs> Your girl got a, uh, oh my, it's not the straw I made, hold on, it's not the, uh-uh, where the straw I made? Your girl got some lip gloss on and a little, I tried to do a little lipstick, but then I ended up not liking the lipstick, so I took the lipstick off. Ooh, oh. Yeah, I ended up taking the lipstick off, but I'm a drink mine in a straw. And then my teeth are starting to get a little yellowy, so I was like, hold on, maybe it's because I started drinking wine, so it's like, yeah. Anyways, this is a wine chit chat. Okay. So, girl. So today I have a few topics to talk about. Uh, probably more like three. Um. Anyway, let's get into it. So I want to talk about double standards and why it needs to stop because it is extremely harmful. Okay. And excuse me, if my lighting's like, hold on, let me check my lighting. Sis, is you good? <sighs> I don't know. Y'all, I didn't even change my whole little section to try to get the lighting right. I don't know. She just don't want to act right. But anyways, let's talk about these double standards and why they need to stop. Because they're not helping nobody, okay? The first situation I'm going to use as an example, which is old, but I need to use it as an example because that's the one that was more relevant and people really knew about it was Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Now we all heard the story that Tory Lanez, um, I don't know how comfortable YouTube is when people saying like shooting and stuff like that. I don't know. I hope it's not a problem. I don't even know how they are about wine, but girl, I'm not even mind so I a little bit. So anyways, we all know that Tory Lanez shot Megan Thee Stallion in the foot when they got into a heated argument. Now, the part that I want to talk about was the fact that he shot her in the foot. I don't know if she was beating this man in the car, but that part of the story did not come out of her beating him. I don't believe she put her hands on him at all. It was not ever said in the story that she put her hands on him. What was said was that supposedly they were fighting over a gun, um, her friend in Tory Lanez, which I don't even know why that situation was even like I don't know if that was true but the fact that he shot her in the foot is what I'm talking about because it was amazing to me how many men came to the defense of him shooting her in the foot and I was like so you will be okay with your mama getting shot in the foot mm. I will I don't know I would be highly disappointed if that was my son coming to the defense of a freaking violent person, okay? Like, there was no reason. I know they had the little jokey jokes because he was what? He's what? Five foot three, 130 pounds. We all know Megan Thee Stallion is a beautiful stallion. She is five foot nine, like a girl herself. And uh, people were like making jokes like, if that was me, I would have shot her too. And I'm just like, hold up. But there was, there was no mention of her putting her hands on him. So why was it? okay and why would you shoot her too like explain to me why is it okay for somebody to shoot somebody else if you're not defending yourself like if you're not on the ground somebody beating you or somebody's threatening your life do you shouldn't be shooting nobody i make it make sense us women we're in the comment section talking about Oh, he needs to be in jail. What he needs to be in jail. I still believe to this day he needs to be in jail. But of course, if you celebrity, girl, you celebrity, you could kill somebody. As long as you got some bond money, you're getting out. Period. You're you you get out. Okay? That's just that. You know, the justice system is not actually set up to put the correct criminals in there. Okay. 
that's just that we all know that okay okay so like i was saying that is very problematic that is very sickening you should not be over here defending somebody for shooting somebody in the foot when there was no reason for that to have happened he was not defending himself apparently he just shot her in the foot i don't know the full story we were not there but that was the story that i got it was just very disgusting that there were men defending that and one of the men was an nfl player and he came to tory lance's side and i was like hold up not the guy who was accused of beating his baby mama or girlfriend at the time. Like, sir, you already have multiple sock cases. Why are you trying to defend somebody? See, that's the problem. Okay. It is not okay. We need not to be okay in this. And another person I want to talk about is Miss Anne Marie. If you don't know who Miss Anne Marie is, she is a very, very beautiful young woman. She is an R&B singer, rapper. I don't know what she is, you know. I don't know what people is now these days. Everybody won't do a little bit of everything. But she apparently... You know, well not apparently, sis did it. Sis shot that man in the forehead, okay? This was her male best friend. Male best friend, okay? We gonna, <laughs> we all know that, I'm sorry, but you know, men and women can be best friends. But if you shooting somebody in the forehead, you know that was not your best friend, boo. Y'all was clapping cheeks, all right? You know, it is what it is. So she shot this man in the forehead. Okay, and it came out there were gun cases in the bathroom. So apparently she shot this gun more than once. Okay, maybe the first time she missed, but the second time she for sure got him. And people were in the comment section defending her, talking about she innocent, and it was women. And I was like, hold up, what are you just saying? Tory Lance needs to be in jail because he shot me in the in the foot, but you're talking about she's innocent when she shot this man in the head? I don't know, make it make sense. Um, a shooting is a shooting, period. It's a crime. You tried to kill this man. You um, missed the first time, but apparently that second time hit him right on the dock. Because, baby, you got some aim if you hit him right in the forehead. Like, how is that okay? I come to realize that apparently violence is justified and it should not be. Rather, you're male or female. You should not be hurting another person unless you are defending yourself. And we we all know that there have been situations where you have to defend yourself. Girl, pop them. If you got to defend yourself, that's if you're in that situation. But do not sit here and comment and make it like it's okay. Boy, what you want? Come here. Come get on my lap. Come here, star. Come here. Because obviously... <sighs> Lord, my dog just wants to be with me 24-7. Okay, so... Don't be sniffing for food because ain't no food up here. Okay. So, yeah, we should not be justifying violence. Like, people think it's cute when a 5'3 girl is beating on a 6'3 a man. But you would feel some type of way if he defend himself and pop her back. Come on now. Y'all going to be like, oh, he should never put his hand on a woman. He should never do this and that. Well, stop justifying her putting her hand on him and thinking it's cute because she's five foot three. It don't matter if you was one foot one or two foot two. Like, come on now. Why is violence ever okay? I don't think I'm going to go around popping somebody, slapping somebody because I'm mad. If you, if you're doing that, sis, sir, please go get yourself some anger management because your life is not going to end pretty. You're not, you're going to end up in jail. Or unless you know, you're a celebrity, you got bail money, or you got money to get bail money, you know. But you're gonna be in jail. And I want you to think, okay, just think for a moment. If you have kids, you don't have to have kids. If you have a mother, a dad, a brother, a sister, imagine that person getting slapped, getting popped because this person can't handle their emotions. So it's okay for him to go pop your mom because he can't handle those emotions. So, I want you to think about that. Imagine that Anne Marie situation was your brother or your sister. Think about it. Like, make it a style. Imagine that was your sister or your mom. Imagine that was your family member. You would not be sitting there saying, he's innocent, she's innocent. You would not. You most certainly would not. Because I promise you, if that was you in that situation, you would not, you would not be feeling like that. Because, hunty, if that was me in that situation... You better hope you blew my whole foot off because I'm coming after you, limping, dragging, <laughs> everything. And the sad part to me was that she was still trying to defend him because she knew what would have happened if the police would have found out. And I was right there like, <laughs> I'm trying not to curse. Well, I, but baby, I curse off camera, but I'm not going to curse on this channel. But baby, 
once you harm me, there is no protection I will be giving you. You will not be receiving that from me. <laughs> no. So that's why I love making this now. She's just, oh, I wish I could meet her in person. But that is just like so heart touching. Like she's still trying to protect this man, even though he harmed her. Like, you don't no that's we're that's not what we're going to be doing in 2021 honey we're not going to be feeling sorry for men who don't take care and feel sorry for us okay we're not going to be the apology apologetic creatures anymore um yeah no mm -mm, it's not happening another thing i want to talk about is body positivity social media influencing these people okay i need you to um if you are somebody who have an insecurity about how you look, you know, if you're thinking you're a little too skinny, you're a little too thick, you got a little chubby, pudgy stomach, you got some cellulite, you got some dimples, honey, it does not matter, boo. I'm here to tell you, you are gorgeous. You are beautiful the way you are. There's a reason why we are in all different shapes, sizes, colors, <laughs> because we're not all meant to look the same. It's just not gonna happen. You should not look at yourself and look at a freaking Barbie doll, girl. You should not be looking at that and feeling bad about yourself. And I'm talking about an actual Barbie doll, the one that you buy at the show. You should not be feeling bad about yourself. You should not be looking at these Instagram models and feeling bad about yourself. Okay, that is that should not be. We have all had insecurities. I have insecurities too, girl. I have thought I was a little too thick. And matter of fact, it doesn't matter because right now, no, I have accepted my size. I know my size. I know how much weight. I know I'm thick. I know I'm in a thick girl side. That's okay. If you want to work on it, that is also okay. If you want to lose weight, that's okay. If you want to gain weight, that's okay. But know that you are beautiful and know that you don't need to look at another woman and feel insecure about yourself because that's just, that's ridiculous because it's always going to be a woman more pretty than you if you think like that, okay? So I think all women are beautiful. Unless you got a messed up inside because like, a lot of y'all mindsets, girl, I'll be like, since your mind is very much ugly, so it makes you ugly. But there's always going to be somebody who looks better than you, who looks worse than you. It's always going to be. So if you're going to be trying to compete with people, you're going to, honey, you're going to be doing that for the rest of your life. Because people like different things. You could be sitting here and the guy that you like, likes this type of shape, this type of color, this type of that. That's just what he likes, honey. Don't try to change yourself just to fit what he likes. There is somebody in this earth, on this planet, in this world, in this universe that likes you for you. If you're a guy, the same thing. If you wanna make changes to yourself, you do it because you wanna do it for yourself, not because somebody else wants you to do it because you should not be feeling like that. We are all gorgeous. We are all God's children or whatever you believe in, okay? Whatever you believe in, you, you're beautiful. You, don't, you know, that's you, okay? I know who I believe in, who you believe in, that's you, baby. That's you. But just know you're pretty, you're that B. If you think like that, you're a queen, you're a king. You are. You are, okay? Okay. Next topic. It has to do with Megan Thee Stallion again. Okay. So this topic has to do with the fact that Megan Thee Stallion made a song with Cardi B and the song is called WAP. We have all heard it. I don't need to sit here and say what the name stands for. We all know what it stands for. It stands for her lady part. A whack lady part, okay? I don't say it, but you know what it is. Girl, it's so hot in here. I got like six lights on me. <sighs> AC off so y'all cannot hear it, girl. This wig, honey, this makeup. I'm hot, but listen, I'm doing it for you. So, I think it's so weird how a man can sit here and make a video about what a woman should be talking about, what a woman should be doing. Listen, listen, listen. I know, you know, if you're a YouTuber, you do it for your money, you do it for your queens, you do it for you. But listen, let me tell you something. It's cool to have an opinion. And even if her song with Cardi B was Illuminati, the fact that you had a problem that big with her making that song and not a problem with the male songs that are out there that's actually causing harm. I don't know what to say about your mindset. So apparently, apparently people believe that Megan Thee Stallion's song is the Illuminati with Cardi B, you know, while that is representing the end of time. 
because she has snakes in the video card. It got the snakes wrapping around her body, wrapping around her body. They're in the scene where it's a bunch of sand. This guy actually looks this up, okay? He he broke the video down piece by piece. I'm not gonna say his name because I'm pretty sure he's gonna pop up anyways. I don't know. I really don't know. But he's gonna pop up probably. You've probably seen it. He gets views by talking about videos. He do reaction videos. But in this video, he talks about how it's the Illuminati or something like that. Or it is meant to get in the, in your mind because in the song she constantly talk about. Cardi said just how she got a man with this wet a p and she don't cook, she don't clean, but that's how she got that ring. And he had a problem and I'm just like, but wait a minute, because you're, we're not gonna sit here and act like that's not what some men like. Okay, some men are very much shallow. <laughs> they, will, they will only care about that. And you're mad that she made a song about it? Or are you mad because her and Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi are so called, you know, making music for women to actually feel empowered. Like, I don't know if you, if you feel empowered by that type of music thing, just about you, <laughs> but they are mad about it, okay? So, we have men over here rapping about drugs. We got men over here rapping about gun violence. We have men over here rapping about <sighs> effing a bunch of bees. Like, you don't have a problem with that, sweetie, but you have a problem with this woman rapping about her parts. I don't know how you make sense. You can have Lil Wayne, you can have Future, you can have Kevin Gage, you, especially if you're a young boy. You can have them <laughs> talking about shooting each other up, being on drugs. We have lost so many youth to drug overdoses. So many actors, so many beautiful people we have lost to drug overdoses. And yet, you're actually mad about a song about a woman rapping about her own parts. Like, it's come to my attention that men are very, very, very afraid of their woman going out there doing the exact same thing they do. Honey, listen, let me tell you something. You should not do what you don't want your partner to do. So if you're around here in a bunch of women faces, she gonna be around here in a bunch of men faces. Like, period. If you have a girl and you claim you love her, then don't cheat. Don't try her. Because if she try you back, you gonna be looking hurt. And basically, Megan Thee Stallion, you know, she raps about how she have all these men, which men do too. We not even gonna sit here and play. And if you sit here and try to say something, girl, I'ma check you. Cause I will, and I am. We got men over here rapping about how many bees they mess with, the money, they don't F with broke bees and all this and stuff. But when a woman does it, it's, cause you know, a lot of you men be broke, so. <laughs> That's a little tea, but this is why, so I'ma sip this. Y'all mad about it, like. Are you mad about it? Why? If she want to spend his income on an outfit, that's her. You ain't got to be the man who income she spent on an outfit. Period. There are men who pay for that. There are men who like that. Okay? That ain't got to be you. So you, there are a variety of different women. There are so many different personalities. If you feel you don't want a woman who is going to the club and all that, just and that, and that okay, that's fine. But you can get mad if you're doing it and she decides to do it too because you're doing it. You know, that's just T, boo, -boo that's just that. <laughs> Don't try me because I'm gonna do it. You know, I think that's ridiculous. I think it's really ridiculous that men think they have the power to control a woman. Honey, it's 2020. We're gonna be in 2021 in a few weeks. I ain't got time for it. Okay. You should not be degrading her because she's talking about a woman part when you literally talk about killing each other. And you are okay with that. You are okay with listening, listening to a rap song. But he's talking about this degrading, dirty, bummy stuff that has got a lot of people locked up. And I'm going to talk about my people, black people, because I'm a black woman. So I can talk about black things because I, this is what I see in my community. You're rapping about these things that a lot of our youngsters listen to and actually try to recreate that because they believe that's what these celebrities' lives, they're, they're living when it's not. They're just rapping about the stuff. They're not even living it. But our young people, they're trying to do that because they think it's cool. Do you understand that? But you're mad about making this out. Okay. Clearly, your priorities are messed up. You need to go get them fixed. You need some help. I don't know. Something right. 
So, like, it don't make sense. Also, if you have me, if you want to know where I get this, where I got this wig from, I actually got this wig from Julian Hair. I had this wig for a while. I just started wearing it because I had to dye it and everything and bleach the knots and fix the front. So, this wig was actually a little too big for my head. So, what I did was just clip in the middle because in the middle it's like if you if you have a wig and your wig is doing that rippling effect like if you put on your wig and then it starts bunching up because the wig is too big and has too much lace you just need to cut the extra lace off so i had to cut some of the hair off which you can't even really tell because i plucked this wig honey it already came pretty plugged but i did a little extra pluck and that part i cut off I actually over plug so i'm still learning but yeah i got this wig from julia's hair this is a 13 by 6 this is body wig i want to say i actually was originally supposed to get a different wig but they were out of the wig i wanted and this is the wig they sent me this wig is very thick and luscious i'm pretty sure just like 180 density probably because honey she is thick okay she is eating all the carbs she's eating all the bread she's eating all the rice she is she's eating it up she's thick i'm hot as freak but yeah um that is it all for, i had for this video this is going to be a new little segment I put in it probably will be every two weeks. I put it in there. Um, and um, this video is getting too long, so I love you guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye.